Hello! In this video I will unbox and set up HP Smart Tank Multifunctional Printer. I cover the following in the video and for the detailed product review on the Smart Tank 700 series, find it in the upper right corner of the screen. In the first part I do the unboxing. Find more unboxing in the playlist on my channel. This is the product box and now let's see what's inside. As usual there are hard copy manuals and information about safety, warranty and different instructions and warnings. Now I take out the printer, which is still packed with styrofoam plastic. Usually latest products are more eco-friendly by using molded paper, an example you find in the upper right corner of the screen. There are two print heads with this device, black and color, and then six ink bottles. Free black ink with a lot of printing capacity and cyan, magenta and yellow. I remove all the blue tapes and get the printer ready for the setup. Unboxing is finished and here is what I found in the box after unboxing. In the second part I set up the printer, starting from the QR code in the hard copy manuals. The online manuals guide through the setup process and you can follow the steps. I download HP Smart App which is a must-have to use the printer via the mobile and access some other functions too. It is common that printers are connected to Wi-Fi network via the mobile app. After the first power on, there are a few initial steps and then there will be a QR code that guides to the app as well. In this video I set up the printer and connect to Wi-Fi. The setup starts with the connection to Wi-Fi. At this step, enter your Wi-Fi password. Sometimes you may wait longer than I show in the video.
wait while printer is connecting and check the printer display too. The printer has been connected to Wi-Fi. Just for a short moment, my smart device shows no internet, but I ignore this and go back to the app to finish the setup. Here I skip the account activation, but it's recommended as you may need it to unlock additional functions. Select your type of ink bottle. Now follow the on-screen instructions to fill up the ink tanks with ink. Black ink is pigment and water resistant. K stands for black. Close the ink tanks when tanks are full. Now I could install the print head, but I need to close the printer cover and then open it again. Now the carriage unit is in the print head replacement or installation position. Remove the orange piece of plastic and unpack the print heads. I install the print heads and close the cover. Next, I load office paper to the paper cassette.
for the printer it is recommended to use automatic updates. Setup is complete and let's print. There are many ways how to remotely print on printers. In Epson it supports email print, which you find more about in the upper right corner of the screen. I have printed my first document and the setup has been finished. In the last part I use HP Smart App to scan to mobile. As I have not yet registered, I need to register before I can start scanning. On the left you find the mobile app screen where I register the product and on the right I scan two pages from automatic document feeder to the mobile. For more information on this model check print productivity video in the upper right corner of the screen. The document has been scanned and that would be all in this video. Find more about printers on my channel and feel free to subscribe to support as it is free and helps me to create more content in the future. Thank you for watching and sharing. Bye!